the planet Psi 2000 is in its final stage of existence. Federation scientists are stationed on the planet to observe its disintegration, and now the Enterprise is there to pick them up. Spock and Joe Tormelin beam down only to find out that all scientists are dead, and it looks like they all went insane and killed themselves. They arrive back to the ship when they found out that the various crew members start to act weird. They soon find out that they brought an infection to the ship and the infection is spreading. To make things worse, an infected Mr. Riley turned off the warp engines and they can't leave the orbit and the danger is that they will crash on the planet. Fun fact, nurse Christine Chapel appears in this episode, but she officially becomes a crew member a few episodes later, proving that the original broadcast order was definitely different from the planned order. There is one big problem with this episode. Everybody behaves like a moron, even before the infection gets on board. First of all, Joe. He is on an unknown planet where everybody died, possibly from an unknown disease. So what does he do? As a real professional, he takes off his glove, making his spacesuit completely irrelevant. Not only that, he touches the frozen table and therefore gets infected. Spock then arrives and tells him not to touch anything after he touched the table, and Joe doesn't react to it at all. Later in the scene where Joe tries to kill himself and Riley with Sulu try to save his life, don't you just love how all the other people just sit quietly and watch them like they're watching a theatrical performance and not a fight for life? I don't know like you, but I used to drink in bars, and yes, I have been in situations in which some drunk idiot took a knife or a broken glass or something sharp and tried to attack somebody or himself. And you know what happened? Immediately everybody who has seen it jumped off their chairs and tried to take his weapon and calm him down. Also, Dr. McCoy, during his surgery Joe dies and he takes it like nothing happened. He doesn't even try to resuscitate him. Nah. The computer tells he's dead, so he's dead. Next patient, please. However, there are many great things about this episode. This is the first episode when Mr. Spock is portrayed as the Spock we all know and love. It's also a beginning of the great relationship between Spock and McCoy, and of course Spock and Kirk. The idea of water changing to alcohol is really interesting too. Some of the acting is really good too. The time travel aspect is interesting too. You can clearly see how this was supposed to be the first part of a two-part story. It's a pity they didn't elaborate on it more. Overall my rating is 7 out of 10. It's slightly above average. Ah, blah, blah, blah.